Hello everyone. Today I'm going to read a book. Sudipta Sen Gupta, The Rock Reader, written by Veena Prasad, illustrated by Manjari Chakravarti, published by Pratham Books. Sudipta Sen Gupta, The Rock Reader. When Sudipta sits to do maths with Baba, her mind wanders to the mountains. She dreams of climbing rocks and boulders, scaling snow-capped peaks. She dreams of being a mountaineer. Soon Sudipta's school days are over and she applies for a physics course in college. There she meets a professor who suggests that she study geology instead. A geologist studies rocks and how they are formed. During the course of her studies, Sudipta collects rock samples. She goes exploring and tracking. She scales mountains and she travels to far and secluded places. She studies rocks from all corners of the world. She wants to understand how Earth's forces can use, can cause deformation in rocks. Sudipta continues to study for a long time even after she completes college. Soon she can read a rock like a book. She can tell whether it was involved in an earthquake or was part of a mountain. She continues climbing mountains. She is given advanced training by Tenzing Norgay, one of the two men who first scaled the mighty Everest. Deep inside Earth, there is a lot of heat and pressure which makes rocks soft. They can deform, which means they can change forms and shape. Closer to the surface, the pressure is less. Here the rocks can crack. Sometimes one rock goes through the impact of different forces and periods of time. So it changes shape multiple times. So Dipta's search for rocks take her on the wildest adventures in the remotest places. Once when she's climbing ridges at Singbhum, a place known for its wild elephants, her guide shouts, Elephant, elephant, run, run! With a rucksack of rocks, so Dipta runs as fast and as far as her feet can take her. But are there any elephants? No. All she can spot are footprints of wild boar and deer. Another time she's on an expedition to the Scandinavian Saladonites range. It's dusk and she's on a narrow cliff when suddenly fog sets in. It's so thick she can't even see her own hands. She stands frozen for an hour. Even the slightest movement and she might fall off the cliff. The next day she's walking across a lush green valley. Sudipta begins to sing. This isn't glass, it's a bog. She gathers all her strength, pulls herself out of the bog and makes it back to camp. Sudipta finds out that there is going to be an expedition to the coldest place in the world, Antarctica. She can't wait to apply. But the expedition 
is not open to female scientists. A year later, much to her surprise, she gets a telegram calling her for an interview. And the next thing she knows, she is setting sail from Goa to Antarctica. The only other woman scientist on board is Aditi Pant, a marine biologist. According to the Antarctic Treaty, Antarctica is a natural reserve devoted to peace and science. All countries that have stations there pledge to conduct research only for peaceful and earth-friendly purposes. They also share their findings freely with scientists from other countries. Three days after setting sail from Goa, the Finn Polaris docks at Antarctica. On board are 83 people, scientists, engineers and officers from the armed forces. They will set up India's first research station, Dakshin Gangotri. The station was abandoned after it was submerged in ice in the late 1980s. From the deck, Sudipta can see miles and miles of blue and white. No trees, no plants, no animals, no people, only penguins. On 27 December 1983, Sudipta and Aditi became the first Indian women scientists to set foot on the icy continent. 90% of the world's ice is located in Antarctica. Looking for rock samples in Antarctica is not easy. Sudipta always leaves the research station with her clinometer, a special compass that not only shows her the direction but also the inclination of the rock. She doesn't know when the ice and rock bridges she's walking on will break or when the snow will give way to a crevice. Blasts of dry, chilly wind hit her face as she walks on sheets of ice that are four kilometers thick. She cannot spot any rocks. Where will she find them? On the tops of mountains. In Antarctica, there are mountain peaks that jut out of the ice. So Dipta scales these peaks for her samples and finds almost 20 kilograms of rocks which she carries in her rucksack. In summer, the temperature can range between minus 20 to minus 30 degrees Celsius. And in winter, it can go as low as minus 89 degrees Celsius. She spends long hours hammering away at fresh and hard rocks. It is so cold she can't even take off the cap of her pen to take field notes. So Dipta collects lots of rocks in Antarctica. Big rocks, small rocks, rock with sharp edges, rocks with lines running across them. She can trace their history back a million years. Some of the rocks have deformation patterns similar to the rocks in South Africa and some have patterns like the ones in South India. Scientists say tens of millions of years ago, the continents of Asia, Africa, Australia, South America and Antarctica were joined together to form one huge landmass called Gondwana Land called Gondwana Land. 20 million years ago, it split and began to drift apart to form separate continents. 
Antarctica settled in the South Pole. Sudapta returns to Antarctica a few years later. Again she walks for miles on ice, treks across mountains, discovers new rocks, she watches, she listens, she writes and she brings back stories on how the world come to be. A story set in stone. Sudipta completed her graduation and post graduation in applied geology. She continued her PhD research in structural geology at Jadavpur University. Sudipta was selected to conduct her postdoctoral research at the Imperial College of Science in London. As of 2018, she is the only Indian geologist to have received this fellowship. Sudipta pioneered geology study in, in the Stirmacho Hills in East Antarctica. Many other scientists continued the work she started here. Some awards she has received, the Shanti Swaru Bhatnagar Award 1991, the Antarctic Award 2000 and the DN Wadia Medal 2016. Sudipta is a former professor and INSC senior scientist at the Department of Geological Sciences Jadavpur University, Kolkata. Thank you so much.